What is up guys? My name is XBI XX Swagger or H E third and I may sound like in a I'm in a happy mood but I'm not I am. Yesterday was my birthday and my dad was so happy. He went out and bought me three hookers and all my friends showed up like one person showed up. That shit was so fun. We had a blast. JK. Everyone showed up, like at least forty people. So what I'm gonna talk about is fighting. Fight first of all, fighting is never okay. Don't fucking fight. It's gonna fuck you up. I'm still like recovering from that shit. I had to do community service. So one thing from past experience, like don't fight unless you have to. I'm gonna give you an example. Um Oh, okay. There was one person in our school. We live in Compton, but I live in Compton by the way. That shit's like it's not as terrible as three years ago. So anyways, there's this Arabian kid in our school. Everybody will make fun of him. They would ask him, hey, let me buy some grenades. Hey, let me buy some bombs. And, and like, like the janitors will make fun of him too, like just for fun. And, uh, like shits and giggles, like, hey, man. Hey, man, can I buy some bombs so I can bomb in school because they're not paying me enough. I'm like, oh, that's fucked up, man. So I, I called him over. I'm like, hey, come kick it with us. Kick it as and like hang out. And I hang out with like three people, but they're like buff ass fuck. And they're like, cool, yeah. I don't hang out with like a lot of people because from past experiences, that's never a good idea because you'll end up fighting or getting kicked out. So, so for, throughout the next two weeks, he started getting a little respect. Like I told him, hey, do like do 20 push ups every day. Cause you seen him, he was scrawny, he was basically like a fucking stick. Or whatever you guys call him. He was he didn't work out. I told him, Hey punch me, yeah? Oh my god. He had like the the force of like a five year old infant. That's how hard he punched. So alright, do like twenty push ups every commercial break. Or whatever the fuck you watch. So he started getting a little respect and then this asshole, oh my god, I hate this bitch. He literally went up to the Arabian kid and told him, Oh, um, was it your brothers who did 9-11? I'm like, hey, bitch, watch out, leave him alone. And he's like, hey, who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I'm like, hey, I'm your dad, bitch, just fucking stop. And he threw a punch and hit me in the face. And I, like, started fighting back. And, you know, you know, you know, you know that I fucking can't take shit. So I fought back, and when I hit him, when at the end of the fight, I had, like, a bloody lip. And yeah, it was like bloody, it was like bruised up. And him, he had, I broke his nose. His left, no, his right eyes was dislocated. One was closed and the other one was open. His shoulder was dislocated because when I was fighting, I tried to push him on the floor and he I hit. Another fight was when um, um, some kid, he decided like to be an asshole and said, I'm going to rape your mom, I'm going to kill your mom, I'm going to... All that shit, I got tired of it. And I threw the first punch, and technically it wasn't a, a fight because he never had a chance to swing. Because when I, I threw the first punch, I already went on the floor. I just, like, got down, punched him, kicked him. By then, I got suspended for five days. And, yeah, that's why I'm, that's why it's not ever a good idea to fight because you get a be suspended for that long and yeah so i think i'm gonna finish this commentary and i think my next topic is gonna be paranormal activity a bunch of shit been happening to me lately all right guys love you rate comment subscribe peace